Did you know that sexually transmitted infections can actually affect your eyes? In today's video, I want to discuss some of the sexually transmitted infections that can impact your eye health as well as your vision. Hi, I'm Dr. Nagori. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and you're watching the ifacts.com channel. The first STI I want to talk about is an STI called chlamydia. Chlamydia can cause chlamydial conjunctivitis, and this can look like redness, discharge, swelling of the periocular tissues, and patients will also complain of intense mucus, discharge, as well as a lot of eye irritation. The infection can spread to the eyes if someone touches their eyes after having been in contact with genital secretions that have been infected with chlamydia. The second sexually transmitted disease that can have a severe impact on your eyes is gonorrhea. So gonorrhea is caused by a bacteria called Neisseria gonorrhea, and it can cause a gonococcal conjunctivitis. Gonococcal conjunctivitis is actually really, really severe. It's a very serious eye infection, and it can actually result in corneal ulcers, even corneal perforation, if it's not treated quickly. If patients have gonococcal conjunctivitis, they will have intense redness, lots of pain, thick purulent discharge, and they will have a lot of light sensitivity and their eye just looks really, really swollen. Similar to chlamydia, patients can get gonococcal conjunctivitis if they touch their eye after they have been in direct contact with infected genital secretions. Transmission of both chlamydia and gonorrhea to the eye can happen through a variety of ways, so it's important for you and your partner to have regular STI testing. So what happens if you have one of these? The most important thing is to seek medical care right away. Both of these infections are very, very treatable, and it's actually very important that you do get the antibiotics to treat them. A third sexually transmitted infection that can affect your eyes is something called syphilis. Syphilis is caused by a bacteria known as Treponema pallidum. This infection spreads through direct contact with syphilitic sores, which are also known as chancre sores. Most commonly, syphilis spreads through vaginal, anal, or oral sex with an infected person. Contact with a rash or a sore during the contagious stages is how the bacteria is transmitted. Other ways that this STI can be transmitted is from mother to baby, through the sharing of needles, or through blood transfusions. Tertiary syphilis can cause blindness through ocular syphilis, which is a complication that damages not just the eyes, but also the optic nerve, which is the nerve that is responsible for bringing visual information from the eyeball to the brain. This can lead to other complications like uveitis, as well as optic neuritis, and other vascular issues. And all of these can not just disrupt your vision, but they can also cause permanent damage if the syphilis is not treated. HIV can also impact your eyes as well as your vision. Luckily, in the more recent years, we have seen a lot of advancements in HIV therapy. And because of that, we are seeing a lot less ocular complications from HIV. HIV can affect the eyes typically when a patient's CD4 count is less than 400. When the patient's CD4 count is lower than 400 or especially below 200, then something called an opportunistic infection could affect the eye. This means that because the body's defenses are already lower because of the CD4 count being lower, an infection that normally would not impact the eyes could have an effect on the patient's eye who has a low CD4 count. An example of this is something called CMV. CMV stands for cytomegalovirus and it can especially impact a patient's retina. Good compliance with antiretroviral therapy helps to maintain really good immune function and it reduces the risk of having eye complications in patients who have HIV. Now, anyone who does have HIV should have routine screenings with their ophthalmologist to look in their retina, especially if their CD4 count is below 400. On average, you should have a dilated eye exam at least once a year, but it may be more frequent if the CD4 count is much lower. Herpes can also impact the eye. There's HSV1 and HSV2. HSV1 is very common in the population and HSV2 is less common. HSV2 is also known as genital herpes. In general, the herpes virus can cause something called herpetic keratitis. It can also cause a problem with the retina and it can also cause a condition called uveitis. What's interesting about herpes is that the virus can actually lay dormant in your body's nerve cells after the initial infection. Sometimes when the virus gets reactivated, it can travel along the nerves to other areas, including the eyes. And this is what can cause ocular herpes. Remember to protect yourself from sexually transmitted infections. It's a good idea to use protection and always communicate with your sexual partners about their sexual history as well as the last time they had STI testing. 
If you are sexually active and having unusual or extreme ocular symptoms, it's really important to see your doctor right away. Hope you found this helpful. Remember to subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.